Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff again here on the CC Mentor channel, your cryptocurrency coach and mentor. And I've got something fun I want to share with you today because I am a billion knocked, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Um, I'm going to share with you today why I am getting into billions, literally billions of these. It's a cool looking project. One of our team members, our mastermind group leaders, uh, came across this project and we've all done a little research on it. Uh, I'm going to give you my own perspective on it here. I'm going to take a look at some charts. I'm going to show you some of the cool things about it. And you too can own billions if you choose. So, um, yeah, so let's get rolling with the video. Uh, by the way, if you like the content, if you think there's anything cool about the channel, then feel free to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button, and you'll get updates on videos that I put out. I put out big videos on a regular basis showing you how to get involved with projects that ideally are going to help us make money. Uh, I do have a long-term perspective, but I like to play in the short term, uh, potentially, you know, how do you hit a 100x project, you know, that sort of thing. And this might be one of those. So I want to share that with you. So again, like subscribe, notification, let's do this thing. So this is called Octans, or Okta is the name of the token. And this is really, really interesting for a whole lot of reasons. Uh, first of all, I mean, I'm just gonna do a quick little review of everything on their website. Not everything, but just, you know, the key elements. The website's gorgeous. I mean, take a look at this, guys. This is beautiful. I mean, this was not an easy thing to create. We've got a video here that this was released today. This is a, um, an introduction to the team. Uh, it was kind of a, you know, cryptic introduction, but it was really well done. And so um, I'm not going to play this. You can play it by going to the site. They've got a really interesting and very unique way of managing the project. I'm sure all of you have done staking of some sort. Maybe some of you have been involved with some of these like super high yield, you know, high risk staking programs with BNB. Um, or you staked on PancakeSwap or, you know, whatever. You know, there's this sort of locked up liquidity aspect. There's, you know, it's kind of a complicated process if you're new, although it's well worth learning. Uh, but this is a little different. Like when you go and do staking with most projects, you have to go in and you actually have to either unstake your coins or you have to actually claim your rewards. Well, this has an interesting reward process. For every transaction, it says here that there's a tax of 8%. They call it a tax. I don't know that I really call it a tax. It's more of just like uh, this is what it costs to do, you know, to do business. This is where 8% of the transaction goes. So 4% of it's locked into liquidity forever, 4% of it's transferred to holders. So what that means is it actually goes right into your wallet. Everybody who has an Okta wallet or has Okta in their MetaMask wallet for whichever wallet you use, I assume you can use something else besides MetaMask, but 4% of that's distributed across all the wallets. I'll share with you a little bit about the specifics of that and how it's already affected me. I did a little test transaction earlier. I'm going to do another one in a minute. 4% um, gets locked into liquidity permanently. That reduces the total supply of Okta that's out in circulation. And so therefore, theoretically, that would contribute to price increases. And it's also a deflationary token. So in other words, again, look, instead of making more and more and more and more, or having more minted with every transaction or like a lot of these programs do, or a lot of these projects do, what they do instead is they literally take it out of supply on a regular basis, which is a good thing considering what I'm going to tell you next. And, you know, again, this is designed to be, uh, you know, as a balanced review as I can give you. You know, there is no referral fee. There's no, you know, click on my affiliate link. There's nothing like that. You can, I'm going to show you how you can get Octans. Everybody who gets it benefits from everybody who gets it, if that makes sense. You know, they've moved down the roadmap path and they have burned 50% of the total supply. You know, there's there's a lot of look, I don't want to go through just point by point by point. I want to give you the highlights and then I want to show you how you can get involved if you choose to. You can read the white paper. You can see the specifics. But again, the site is beautiful. I, I think that, you know, that alone is enough to move the project forward. But they've got, you know, actual use cases in play. They've got uh, right now only less than 15,000, only 14,370 as of this minute people who have Okta in their wallet. Uh, here's the symbol, the total supply. I had to actually really look at this number. This is a ridiculously large number. It is one quadrillion. Okay, so you see, this is the millions, this is the billions, this is the trillions, this is one quadrillion. So that'd be a little scary on its surface, but part of their roadmap was to burn uh, 500 
trillion. <laughs> I gotta do this math in my head here for a second. 500 trillion. And so that cut the total supply in half. And then every time someone purchases more, more gets staked as a permanent uh, form of liquidity, and which also reduces the uh, the number of coins in supply. So again, in theory, that would mean that the value would continually you know, go up or, I mean, it's gonna fluctuate and I'll show you how much it's fluctuated. You know, this is an early part of the program right now. We're just in the very early stages. I think it launched on March 29th. Yeah, there's over uh, 1.6 million in uh, liquidity right now. The market cap is 45 million. Uh, so far they've burned not just the 500, but here's another 33 trillion coins that have been burned so far since the launch. Uh, you can look at the contract address. In fact, let's take a look at that real quick and you can see, we'll see a few things from that. Actually, I think I have this open already, but let me just show you. Um, there we go. That should be it, but let, let me just put it in there so we can start fresh. Okay, so you can see this is all really current. You, BNB's, wow, is BNB going crazy? Is this awesome to be in BNB related projects right now? So you can see that the total supply here again was uh, originally one quadrillion market caps now up to 48 million i think it just actually what we we just said that the price is so low that it doesn't register on the scale here and by the way what we're looking at right now is bsc scan but uh, some of the big events that have happened i'll come back to in just a minute so you can see that there's a pretty active number of people coming in and literally getting billions and billions of these i'm going to show you where the thing started back on uh, looks like it was yeah 18 days ago so this is where they executed on the original contract. You know, there's only 16,937 Okta addresses right now. And again, website contract address, you can see it all right there. So let me just go through a couple more things and then I'm gonna get right into the thing that you're probably most interested in, which is how do you get some if you wanna get some? So um, let's just look at the roadmap here real quick. Q1 of this year was phase one. So they launched again, just at the really the kind of the tail end of the first quarter of this year, since it was about March 29th, they've locked in liquidity. They burned 50% of the supply. They got up their website and their socials. Um, you can, by the way, see all their socials here. You can join their Telegram group. Um, you know, they've got Reddit, they've got Twitter, all the standard stuff. Yeah, so now we're in phase two. So they, the first checkbox they wanted to get done was getting listed on CoinGecko and they did. So here they are, guys, on CoinGecko. So that's one of the big questions that people have when they take a look at a project like this. You know, is it listed on you know altcoin listing sites? So look at this price, guys. I don't even know what that number is. It's seven zeros and a five point zero 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 five. And you can see, yeah, there's been a dip today. I'm going to show you how that looks, and I'm going to give you my perspective on that if you're interested. And we're going to continue on here. So this is all just confirms up everything we've seen so far. But listing on CoinGecko is kind of a big thing. I mean, that's usually what uh, causes a big drive and increase in the price. And we did see a spike today. So let's actually take a look at the chart. Well, you can look at this, the basic chart here. But I'm going to just go over here. I mean, you can see this is not the entire history. Um, in fact, this is just today. So it went up and then it went down a little bit. So, you know, clearly some people took advantage of the, the listing on CoinGecko as, hey, let's go grab some profits, which, you know, why not? I mean, I think there's some long-term potential for this project. I think we're going to see it go straight back up again. I could totally be wrong, by the way. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not here to pitch or promote or shill the project. I'm telling you, I'm in it. I think it's kind of cool. Maybe you'll like it. If you do, I'll show you how to get some. Oh, I was going to show you, here's an actual chart. So, yeah, this is from, uh, you know, this is on, on <laughs> PooCoin. I can never get over the, <laughs> the name of that site. But basically, <clears throat> it takes a look at really brand new uh, projects like this. I mean, you can see there's a lot of these, you know, moon programs that are, have come out. And, um, you know, Safe Moon was, I think, one of the first ones. And there's been a lot of things that have sort of followed up. But this is goes back to the very beginning. I'm looking at a one hour chart here, by the way. This isn't a fancy chart. It just gives us a little better perspective than just the, you know, the, the line that's on CoinGecko. So you can see after the launch, there was a really big charge up and uh, a lot of up and down for a while. And then it kind of found a, a bottom. Um, it found some support here. It looks at looks like at about, and I don't even know how to say this number other than I'm just going to say 26, 265, 448. It's 
it's so far less than less than like 0 0.01. It's so far down the decimal chain. I'm just going to say it like that. So you can then see um, earlier today was where the Coin Gecko launch was. So boom, rising up again. People looks like people took some profits, but again, it found some support at the same place there was previous support at the last little spike. So you're seeing some pretty normal behavior in the chart. And now you can see that it's, you know, 40, 475, 615. And so it's come up quite a bit from, uh, you know, the last couple of days. But again, it has dipped a bit now. Looks to me like, you know, there was, a, again, I'm not, you know, master of technical analysis, but I do quite a bit of trading. So just from looking at this simple chart, it looks to me like we did hit some pretty solid support here, right at around 446. 650 for you know let's just say 450,000 give or take and uh, yeah they tried to go below it didn't didn't really make that you can see by the long candle there so all right enough of the technical analysis let's get to the fun part um, I just want those of you who are inter interested in such things to be able to have that resource so going back to the website so um, next is there's there's a lot of push to get them listed on coin market cap that would be huge uh, there's going to be a smart contract audit coming um, we're putting together the holders now. That's when I say we, I mean them. And But us as a community are the ones that are really driving this thing. And then the white paper's already been released. You can see it here. I've actually got it open already somewhere here. There it is. So let's look at some of the key elements here, and then we'll get into how do you do it. So Octans, or the Okta token, is an auto yield and liquidity smart contract. Auto yield and liquidity, that may sound like a fancy term, but basically what that means is that your, your staking yields get get put in it's a, it's a community process and it gets put directly into your wallet and liquidity is also automatically put into liquidity from every purchase that's with eight percent of the total fees on every transaction so when you buy some like i bought a billion earlier but i got 920 million because of that eight percent fee but four percent of it it came back to the entire community and was rewarded to the holders who anybody who has a wallet an octa wallet so yeah, and then 4% goes automatically to the liquidity pool. All right, so why the 8% fee? Well, there's a lot of concerns in the yield farming, liquidity mining, staking. Many of us have seen situations where you get your, your tokens locked up, whatever they are, uh, you get them locked up for a period of time, you're looking to make a profit, and then you see that you know, the value ends up decreasing substantially, and instead of a profit, you, you, know, you end up losing. And I suggest that you really take a look at this read through the white paper it's written pretty simply and it's really solid support for this being a really good project so um, you can see in uh, phase three i'm going to go into back to the website where i can see this a little bigger white bit listing this is the a, an exchange they want to get on multiple other exchanges third quarter this year getting into partnerships merchandise uh, fourth quarter nfts staking uh, etc etc so Look, guys, um, again, I'm not here to be an investment advisor. I am just sharing with you my own crypto journey. And I like this project and I'm about to go get some more. So they've got clear instructions on how to get this, um, how to access this. Most of you who follow my channel probably already have your MetaMask wallet or something comparable set up. Um, so I just want to show you a couple things here. Um, so I've got, uh, this is my earlier purchase. This is, this is actually the, the token right here. Um, it is the Okta. You can see it's 92, sorry, 920,271,085. Okay, that number when I made the transaction was just 920 million. So in the time I made this transaction earlier today, which was oh, five hours ago, it was like five hours ago. So in five hours time, I've now, accumulated an additional, and it'll be even more when I open it again, uh, an additional 200 and, what did I say? 271,244 Okta, okay? So that's just happening on automatic. That's that automatic staking reward. It goes right into your wallet instead of you having to claim it in some way or to unstake to get it. So, um, and by the way, my original transaction, for any of you who've been following the channel for a little while, you know that uh, I've been involved with BNB Capital, maybe you have too. Uh, it's had its ups and downs, but I've been staking the heck out of it and had quite a few of the t coins. And I actually ended up buying, not with BNB here, but I ended up buying Okta with the BCL tokens, these BCL tokens right here. So I think I spent about 2,800 of those to get a billion of Okta. 
And, uh, you know, I mean, look, we all like to have fun. We all like to dream. So here's um, so here's what we need to do here. First of all, you need to let me just go through the basics. You need to make sure that you have Binance Smart Chain set up on your wallet. If you don't have that yet on your uh, MetaMask wallet, then the information for how to do that is in another video. I just did one actually pretty recently in the last couple of days. And we've got a whole playlist on different ways to access BNB. Uh, and move it to the appropriate wallets, depending on which ones you're starting with and where you bought it and what you would need to end up with and whether you're in the United States or some other country or whatever. So there's lots of different ways you need to understand about that. But not to make it too complicated, if you've already got Binance Smart Chain, then you can um, then you're you know, you're good to go. And then you're going to need to have something uh, in the way of either BNB or another token that you can swap on PancakeSwap to get it, to get the Octa. Octa. So let's um let's actually do it on pancake swap it's not going to be a native token you have to you have to insert it i've already done that but let me just show you if you just click on the website there's a couple of different ways to do it actually but if you just click on the website uh, and click on pancake it's going to say token imported blah 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 you have to you know do the disclaimer thing if you want to double check the bsc scan you can um i'm not going to do that now because i already showed that to you and i already know this is here and honestly this is already in my in my uh, pancake swap list, but it's you know just going to ask me to do it again. So now you can see I have Okta here, and I'm able to swap. And in this case, I'm actually going to do I'm going to use BNB instead. Come on, I need to switch to something else to let myself do this there. Okay, now I can do BNB. All right, now we'll now we'll go down to um, Okta. Okay, we just added it, so there's that. All right, so you can see that it's showing the balances that match up here, 271,000.65 and change of BNB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another, I'm going to do like 1.2 billion here because I'd like to see if I can get to, let's see, let me do 1.4 billion. So 1 billion, 400 million more Okta. Remember, 8% is going to get knocked out. I'm trying to make sure that I have, not that it matters, but I'm trying to make sure that I have over two billion when I'm done with this transaction. I'm probably gonna end up doing more in future demonstrations. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on swap. It's gonna cost uh, 0.117322 BNB. I'm gonna confirm the swap. And then we just go through our usual little waiting moment here of uh, pancake swap. Okay, it was actually in my wallet before it actually told me that it was in my wallet, but yeah, okay. So now I've got 2.2 billion, um, which is cool. All right, so I, I you know, got more than I needed, but it's perfectly cool. So that's it, that's all you have to do, guys. And then now you will see that this perpetually, this number just perpetually goes up. Uh, every time I open my wallet, it's gonna be a higher number here. So now I've got, what, eight, million 270 I, I don't know i must i'm gonna stop doing the numbers guys <laughs> it's a really big number so now um i am the proud owner of 2.2 billion of of the octa token and i hope you really see what i see in this project so i think there's some really cool stuff going on here again you know it's up to you to decide what you want to do you can see even while i was on there the price went up just a little bit yeah, so you can literally see, you know, billions of token tokens being purchased. And remember, for every token that gets purchased, 4% of that gets taken off the market, basically. So it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I, I mean, you know, evaluate it yourself. Do what makes the most sense to you. Uh, I'm going to keep making videos about things like this. I'm going to make a bunch of videos this week about our primary projects, which have been Energy, which has got some really cool things going on right now. Peak, I'll do an update on, I'm definitely going to do an update on all these crazy programs that have been going on in the BNB um, staking space because, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I think we all might have just had just about enough of those. Um, but anyway, I'll give some reasons why. Anyway, that's it for right now. So I think that this is a great project. Again, I'm not here to recommend anything one way or the other. Uh, I'm not here to tell you what you should or shouldn't do as far as in investing, because that's not really my role. But I, I would do like to point out cool projects. And I think these guys have some stuff going on. Um, 
We'll see how it rolls, but uh, do what you think makes sense, and we'll talk to you on the next video. Again, if you like the content, I would appreciate you giving me a thumbs up, uh, subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification button, and then you can stay in touch with all the things that I do, and we'll catch up with you guys soon. So it's Jeff here, CC Mentor, and I am out of here. See ya.